All right, man. It's on the flow, you know. They saying BG told, you know. Wack told me last night it was gonna come out. Uh, shout out to Nani Jake, you know. He did the whole dissection on it, you know, and put it out. And let's just let's check him out, man. You know. In the made a state in the first case. This guy admits, hey, this is mine. And within a month, BG and the other passenger was subpoenaed to a grand jury, testified in court, and said everything was Washington's. Now, they repeated everything Washington said, which makes me think they most likely discussed this, whether it was in the car, whatever it was. Yo, bro, you're not from New Orleans. You're from Houston. You're only going to get one to two years. You'll be good. Just take the rap for this shit. We're going to take care of you. Da, da, da. Dude's like, all right, all right, bet. So he takes the charge. He's got BG's lawyer. Who do you think put that together? Most likely BG. He gets BG's lawyer. BG's lawyer's telling him, yeah, you're only going to get one to two. You'll be all right. BG goes up and testifies. And this is the thing. If they agreed, dude was going to be the fall guy. Y'all let me know in the comment section. This shit bigger. <sighs> All right. So it sounded like, you know, something happened. Got caught up with something. BG with somebody. And something get caught up in, right? In the heat of the moment, they get to thinking. The antennas come on. Like, well, I can't. I'm, getting, I'm making money. I'm doing whatever. Well, you take it. You know what I'm saying? The guy allegedly agrees to take it. Okay, I'm a high profile individual. If my man right here is right here, right? Now, let's just say I got a lot going on right now and I got more than the calibers I'm supposed to be carrying, okay? And the police come in here for whatever reason. And I say, hey man, can you take this from me, bro? I got you. It's a number of a pistol. This is a 10 millimeter. This is a 45, you know what I'm saying? You ain't got no record. You're going to be right out probably by tomorrow. You get what I'm saying? i probably going to give you a DA reject. Now, me personally, I wouldn't have went to the stand and said, yes, that's his. You know, he knew what he was doing. <laughs> but, yeah, BG, yeah, now that I'm thinking about it, you, you kind of shouldn't have did that. If he's going to take the rap, let him take the rap. So, my video was going to say, but I'm going to be real with y'all. I'm going to be real with y'all. I'm not going to personally knock BG for that when the crime me is in, is in agreement with it. Because, you know what I'm saying, this was their plan. You know what I'm saying? It's just tricky. You know what I'm saying? So I'm not going to knock him and say, oh, nigga, you're right. I, I, I can't do that because the dude told you to do that. It's kind of like if I'm in pain and, and, and the doctor don't want to kill me. You know what I'm saying? And I say, bro, I can't live like this, man. Put one in my head. You know? Is the family members going to say he's a murderer for killing me? You got to look at it like that. If I'm on my deathbed, I can't feel my nothing past my neck, right? I got my right-hand man right here. I'm like, bro, I can't, I'm miserable. I need you to pull the plug. Do that for me, right? I can't live like this. Pull the plug. If he got me on recording saying this, and he pulls the plug, now what? You feel me? You got to look at it like that. You can't be mad at him. Because it's the agreements. You know what I'm saying? So it's just tricky. I'm not going to bash BG for that. But I damn sure wouldn't. If you just step to take the case, you go take the case, bro. I ain't about to get on the stand and make no statements and all that, bro. You know what I'm saying? If you're going to take it, take it, my nigga. So I don't know. It's tricky. At the end of the day, if I am mistaken, BG and them dudes, you know, got rich young. You know what I'm saying? Like young, like teenagers, like young teenagers, 13, 14, 15. And if that's the case, they never grew up in the struggle with the trenches, the ups and downs, to actually learn the street rules and the street code, you know, hand on. You know what I'm saying? What I mean by that is, you know, they put him in a trick bag. You know what I'm saying? He trying to do the right thing. Like, okay, cool. This is how we're going to do it. This is the plan. I'm going to get out of this shit. I got you. It really don't work like that. You know, you put a nigga in a trick bag, homie. You know what I'm saying? So where he can always come back and twist it on you. The street code will tell you. 
under no circumstances do you give any statements? Do you incriminate anybody? Do you say anything <laughs> that got to do with anybody else? <laughs> you can incriminate yourself and tell yourself all you want. Under no circumstances do you say anybody else, you say anybody's name, you say anybody whereabouts, anything. You know what I'm saying? Even if it's to y'all benefit, you don't do that. Cause they can always twist it up on you, and that's what's going on. So, you know, I don't, you know, I don't think he really got to live that life. You know what I'm saying? Cause if he did, he would know the rules, or he must don't care about the rules. So this is where all this stuff comes into play. At this is why you guilty either way it go. You guilty because you don't know the rules. You ain't no street nigga like that. Or you guilty because you do know the rules and you chose to go another way. Guilty by the streets.